cavernous sinus thrombosis the communications and the sources of the infection superiorly it communicates with the cerebrum as a result the infection may spread from meningitis or cerebral abscess anteriorly it communicates with phase that is through superior and inferior ophthalmic veins so it receives blood from the face nose parenes and sinuses and orbit so the infection may spread from all these regions and posteriorly it communicates with the petrosal vein which drains into lateral sinus it has communications of mastoid emissary vein and labyrinthine veins so the infection may spread from the middle ear also and along and mastoid emissary vein the infection spreads from the mastoid aces inferiorly it communicates with the pterygoid venous plexus and medially it communicates with other sinus cavernous sinus as a result infection spreads from one side to other side and the clinical features are general and ocular general features are like high grade fever chills and rigor and vomiting headache and ocular are eye pain chemosis conjunctiva chemos and swelling and there is proptosis and the other feature is mastoid area edema that is edema is seen in the mastoid region due to the involvement of mastoid emissary vein and the contents are third fourth fifth and sixth cranial now so there is ophthalmoplegia there is pain due to the palsy of sixth now followed by third and fourth nerves and corneal ref reflex is lost due to the involvement of fifth nerve and there is ptosis its lateral side and dilated pupil due to the involvement of third cranial nerve fundus examination retinal veins are congested and the signs of papillary edema are present treatment is by antibiotics given iv and nsaids thank you